Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Eddie Givens, aka Soul of Jasmine, with another YouTube video game update and what I've been up to. Uh, today, I just uh, went and picked this up, this pre order I had a couple months ago. It's uh, Project X Zone. So, as soon as I found out that they were actually um, going to port this over stateside, I definitely jumped on this because it's involving um, Bandai, Namco, uh, Capcom. It's just a bunch of different characters. Um, from those companies and everything so like anything from Mega Man to your Tekken characters to your Street Fighter characters all in one and I've only spent about a good 20 minutes with it so far and it's definitely um, an RPG style <laughs> a, a, a Japanese RPG, RPG style game um, very uh, a lot of conversations and, and um, it, it's it's very unique I'll just put it that way Kind of like a button masher slash Final Fantasy Tactics placement of your character wherever um, they are on the map. Um, it, it's pretty cool. It's got some cool music and everything. Um, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. Um, I got the limited edition. So uh, I made sure I got cop that because I got it for 40 bucks, the same price or what everything else, uh, what, what the regular edition is. But uh, for pre ordering, you get the, uh, the soundtrack, um, an art book as well uh, it's just an art book uh, having every single character shown in the uh, that's uh, that's in the game so yeah uh, Cosmos uh, Tielos um, this guy Tenzai this is like one of the first dudes you meet up with and play as well these two me Koryuji well, I don't even know how to pronounce some of these guys names but yeah it's definitely a unique game I'll tell you that um, it also came with a poster as well. This is pretty badass. I'm probably going to try to get this laminated or something so it can stay in great condition. But yeah, pretty slick, man. Definitely like the artwork from, uh, from Namco or, or Capcom, for that matter. Um, what else is going on? Man, lots. Because as soon as I got home from work today, I got some awesome news. So first of all, um, you know, as you guys know from my previous videos, my favorite comic book artist is Robert De, De Jesus, and um, got some few surprises going on with that as well because I've been talking to him about uh, getting some work done and um, some illustrations done. But touch on that later. But right now, um, let's see. Well, first of all, let me just start off with this. Um, for the past two weeks, I've basically applied to Animation Mentor, and guess what? Today, I got the heads up that I got in. I got my congratulations letter, uh, today, and I'm fucking pumped. Why? Because Animation Mentor is basically a bunch of mentors from Pixar, from DreamWorks, from Disney. They teach you exactly how they do it step by step this is a real school and everything online school i have a personal mentor that is going to teach me the ropes how to do all this shit to animate just like them and i'm fucking amped right now because i got in and not everybody can get in because you have to test and then you have to give an essay and then if you get approved by that so i'm fucking super pumped right now so on the flip side was behind here I've actually been doing um, you know a little bit of anim uh, this is something I started up last night uh, this is working off of this um, this body uh, from Robert De Jesus an illustration he made and this is being done in uh, Maya 2013 and I'm just basically just trying to get a basic body going with this so I can use this as like a base model for characters I don't know. I kind of like the uh, the style, the, the 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 big the big feet and legs. You know, just trying to give it like it's, it still looks like a human, but I wanted to give it that you know that that anime uh, chibi style as well. So um, so my characters, you know, just think of like a Chrono Trigger character or whatever, um, or uh, you know a warrior or a ninja or something like that, but. You know, it look cart it looks cartoonish. It looks like it belongs to be a video game. So it doesn't have to look all realistic, you know, with proportions of legs and in the waist and blah blah blah. This is definitely a model that I'm just working on right now. So it's still not 
up to par to where it needs to be. Uh, but yeah, but as you can see, I'm just working on one half and then I'm going to have a duplicate so it'll be identical on both sides. So I can go ahead and get the base, uh, base down with this type of model. So, I don't know. Yeah, still some more stuff I got to work with like the butt here, the back area, and especially the calves here. I definitely got to move this up a bit. But, you know, it's all a work in prog progress, but I just wanted to show you guys what I've been up to. Um, and especially just getting excited about Animation Mentor because, man, this is a lifelong dream. And and uh, two weeks ago, I just said, fuck it. I'll go ahead and apply, see what happens. And lo and behold, I got in. So now I just got to figure out how I'm going to pay for it. <laughs> um, and as you guys know, uh, from my previous video, uh, Rose Colored Gaming, uh, this is what I got from a uh, video game convention that was this past weekend. And I was talking with this guy, and I love this guy's illustration so much to the point where um, I hit him up so to see if we can if, see if he could contribute uh, with some some badass illustrations for the video game I'm actually making right now. And uh, but yeah, um, this was just a quick video update what I've been up to. I just hope you guys enjoy it. Great news for me. <laughs> And, um, yeah, as you guys can see, I'm still trucking along, man, getting better at this, uh, uh, creating characters from scratch, models and whatnot, but, yeah, it's a work in progress, but you guys take care. Peace.